Hi Blender fans, as promised here is the video in which I show how to use the spin tool and boolean techniques to create this abstract metal ring. I also use my free fast carve add-on for which you can find the link in the description below. So let's start with the blender file of the previous video and I add a new cylinder with 64 vertices and decrease the depth like so. Ok, then I duplicate this by pressing Shift D, scale it up in Z direction and then scale down the whole object. And now I can use my fast carve add-on to subtract the inner cylinder from the outer one. I see here there's one diagonal edge that's gonna bother me when I will set bevels. To turn this diagonal edge to a straight one, I use the knife tool, press K to activate it, then draw a straight line by pressing the C key followed by return and then I can dissolve the other edge by pressing Ctrl and X. Then I rotate the object about 30 degrees around the Z axis, press R and then Z and then the rotation angle. And I do this to prevent errors for later boolean operations so that I don't cut into the edges of the top face. I will come back to this later on. Now I select this inner edge loop and press Ctrl B to add this bevel. And I can do this without any issues because I fixed this diagonal edge. Ok, now I insert an object. With that we can cut into the ring from four sides. This is just a simple cube, but I will use the spin tool to kind of duplicate it to four sides of the ring. So I move it to the left in edit mode, to the position from which I want to cut into the ring. Then I snap to the top view and the origin of the cube is still the center because I moved it in edit mode. Then I press the spin button in the tools shelf. The steps are set to 4 and the angle to 360. The first one we can delete because it is overlaid by the one created by the spin tool. Oh, and I see that I didn't check the checkbox of the spin tool to create duplicates and the result is unfortunately that the normals are switched, but this can be fixed easily by pressing the Ctrl and N key to have consistent normals again. So with this new object, these four cubes selected, I press difference of the fast carve tool to cut into the ring. Ok, we don't need these cubes anymore so I press the delete key to delete them. And now we do exactly the same with this hard surface object we created in the previous tutorial. I switch to edit mode, bring it to the left side and then use the spin tool to create four duplicates. I will cut slightly into the top face of the ring and now you can see why I rotated the ring in the beginning because I don't want to cut into the edges of the top face. Again I press the spin button and use 4 steps, but this time I check the create duplicates checkbox. Delete the first one again, still in edit mode, and then change to object mode and use difference of the fast carve add-on to cut into the ring again. Now press H to hide the 4 screw-like objects for a moment. And I can concentrate on the ring. First I press sharp and bevel to make this look more pretty and crisp. Then I select the bevel modifier that is added by fast carve and decrease the width of the edges. Alright, the last thing that I want to do is to add a new cycles material for the ring and add the principal BSDF shader. I use a grey tone set it to full metallic, also increase the roughness a bit and for the sake of this tutorial we can go with that. Ok, I pressed H to hide the other objects, now I press Alt H to make them visible again. And before I render this I make the meshes appear a bit more random and realistic. 
I press the L key to select the mesh that I hover with the cursor and perhaps move it a bit to the inside or rotate the mesh around the set axis just to bring a bit more variety to the scene. After that I change to the rendered viewport shading, just to have a preview on how this will look like. And then I adjust the camera and render this. Ok guys, I'm quite happy with the results and as you can see you can create something like that in let's say 10 minutes. You just need to know how to do it. I really hope you like the video and my channel and if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss the next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support and see you soon here on JNM.